Hello everyone, happy Money Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about a perfect financial planning, especially here in Germany. I want to start with this wonderful image here. Um, we're going to start with the base, working to the top. Let's start with the base because every good construction has a base and here it's very important when you think about financial planning, saving for the future investment, that you have a proper base and I would love to start with that. First of all, super important, you need an income source, you need a salary, you need to make money to invest money and uh, my recommendation is First, start your first job, have an income source, then you can start building up assets. Yeah, the financial epic, super, super important. My recommendation to you, have at least two or three net salaries in your bank account to be safe. For example, imagine that you're saving an investment account or for your pension and then something um, something bad happens or you need to visit your family and you need to take a plane ticket, you need to be flexible, spontaneous. Um, you don't want to take money out of an investment. That's why please have at least two to three net salaries in your bank account. That's super important. This is your financial epic. And now the next topic, your favorite one, insurances. Yes, in Germany we need a lot of insurances. It is what it is. but. You need to know why. Germany is a social system that gives us a lot and we give a lot too. <laughs> but in case we need it, the state returns some of that investment that we pay. But it's very important to understand in which case we will need a private insurance because in the system there are gaps. Maybe you don't know them yet, but they are. So it's very important to have a professional consultation to know what is your personal situation and in which situation you might need a private insurance to close that gap. And we have Sachversicherung, means Haftlich, Haushalt, Rechtsschutz, Kfz. All the insurances that insure your property. Here again, it's very important to know your personal situation and of course, what is important to you, what you want to ensure. So here again, super important to have a professional consultation. Once you took care of your base, you can go one step up. And now, in my personal opinion, it is important to think long term. What is long term? Pension, buying property, uh, buying property as investment where other people are living in. Um, so I think that's important to start. That's why I'm going to start talking about long-term investments and then middle-term investments. Here it's important to have budget. That means you need to know how much you can invest to get where you want to get. It means how much pension you would need, um, how much equity for your dream house do you need and how much you, do you want to spend? How much can you spend? So that's the first step to build up your financial planning because you need to know how much you want to start investing. Depending on your age and current working status, you can start saving from 100 to 200 euros for your pension, for example, and then stock it up once you raise the salary, for example. So, pension and properties are your long-term investments. Let's go up to middle-term investments. Middle-term investments can be as well everything, but the key word is flexibility. Means, after having two or three net salaries in your bank account, you don't want to stay the rest of your money there because then it loses value, it loses and um, you know inflation and so on. So it's good to have like an account where you can put your money, for example, you can invest in ETFs, or mutual funds, where you make your money work and you can really take it out whenever you like. 
my recommendation is to leave middle term accounts around five to ten years then raw materials raw materials of course you can invest in raw materials and think long term and middle term it's important that you know for yourself what is important to you where you like to invest you know you want to stay flexible maybe pension is super important for you uh, maybe you love real estate. maybe you are security oriented and want to invest in, in gold, silver, raw materials. That's absolutely okay. There is investment for every one of us. And then if we go up, you find the speculation range. There you have Aktien, shares, Bitcoins and so on. So here I say whatever floats your boat. <laughs> then I get a lot of questions about shares in Bitcoins. Um, good question. Yes, I think this goes in the range speculations means my recommendation. If you have taken care of all those matters and you have money left to invest in Bitcoins or shares, of course, you know, everything what makes your money work is good. Invest and don't forget to invest in yourself as well. Bye bye. Adieu.